in those days, I followed no discipline, even like when it came to giving lectures. Once I started speaking at eight o'clock in the evening and ended at four in the morning, everyone fell asleep. Because in those days, I used to <clears throat> speak with my eyes closed. It was not until 1955 that I started speaking with my eyes open. There was some chanting that happened thereafter. And right around midnight, devotees started to come toward me to touch my feet, just like devotees normally would. So the whole time I was pay paying special attention to Mr. Collector because his brother had told me about him. His brother used to call him Rakshas, a demon. So devotees came to touch my feet and so Mr. Collector was also there. And just before he touched my feet, I jokingly touched his feet. And so he was very shocked and he said, Oh, Swamiji, what are you doing? Why are you touching my feet? You are a renunciate. So I said, I am a renunciate. That's what you're saying. But what have I renounced? Only the world? That anyone and everyone has to renounce in any case. Was there ever born a person who would not want to renounce the world and even if no even if anyone does not want to renounce the world willingly then yamaraj will force renunciation upon them everyone has to renounce the world one day yes so but i marvel at you because you have renounced even god I left the world, I renounced the world to seek shelter of Guru, of God. But what power are you depending on that you have renounced even God? So these words I spoke jokingly had so much impact and effect on his mind that he fell over me as though someone had pushed him. And he cried bitterly at my feet. And from that day, he became even a better devotee than his older brother. Now the man is the same, but the effect of the words, the, the words had such an impact on his mind. The point is, how much value do we put on anyone's word at any given time? How much, how much value and importance do we realize of Sri Maharaji's divine teachings, his divine words? So Sri Maharaji tells us that we must associate association time and time again listen to divine knowledge and that is why he revealed in the radha govind geet nitya satya sat sang govind radhe shatahin ko bhi Shaddha yukt bana de. So, Nitya Satya sang, Satsang by consistently and constantly associating with the Satsang of Satya. Satya means the truth. What is the truth? God, His divine name, his form, his virtues, his abode, his pastimes, and his saints. Association. That even anyone who is unfaithful has no faith. That faith will be introduced in his heart and mind, and it will grow. So, P. 
people some people ask they question if they can accept jagat guru shri kripalu ji maharaj as their guru when he appears only on television screens they wonder the answer is an emphatic yes yes of course but why what is the reason mm-hmm. 